Techheaton was a prosperous textile town two miles east of Lowmoor in the Spen Valley. A pan across the town reveals the impressive former Lancashire and Yorkshire Railway station buildings, which together with extensive sidings, closed in 1965. On the far side of the Spen Valley was the LNWR station, just visible in this 1964 view and reached by a cast iron and stone viaduct. One mile to the east of Heaton Lodge was the ex-Lancashire and Yorkshire railway station of Murphy, with its wooden roof permeated by steam from this LMS class 4F 060, unusually fitted with a self-weighing tender. Class 5s and 8Fs were the backbone of freight services, with these two examples crossing at the west end of the station. Immediately west of the station was the engine depot, designated 56D until closure in 1967. Murfield received a variety of foreign classes as steam declined, such as this ex-Northeastern Railway Class B-16. Common with many smaller depots, the coing plant, visible above this black five, was never mechanised. Although coal from the Yorkshire coal fields was the staple traffic, an immense variety of other goods passed through the junction. Summer weekends saw many special workings from both sides of the Pennines, heading for the East and West Coast seaside resorts.
Taking the new line via Batterford, this Black 5 was returning light engine to Farnley Junction. Jubilee 45739 Ulster, sporting its capside yellow stripe, heads a relief working from Manchester to Leeds in August 1965. The Newcastle to Manchester Red Bank Empties was a favourite working with enthusiasts. Almost always double-headed, a wide variety of locomotives worked the regular service. By the LNWR in 1867, this depot primarily handled freight traffic, and as 55G, it closed on the 2nd of January 1967. En route to crew for minor repairs, Britannia Pacific Morning Star is towed westwards past Hill House Depot. Passing one of the many coal trains that used this route, sister engine 70026 Polar Star heads a parcels train to Leeds. Until the end of the 1960s, four tracks connected Heaton Lodge to Huddersfield, entering the station over a 